Hey, Dave Stoblin here, and we are doing some good math. Today's topic is how do we collect data? But before we answer that question, we need to have some vocabulary words. So we are going to start with the vocabulary word individual. And an individual is an object that can be described by data. And we'll do an example of this in a minute. But the next word is variable. And a variable is a characteristic of the individual. So for example, an individual could be a human and the variable could be their IQ. So IQ describes the human. The next vocabulary word is treatment. And a treatment is something you do or give to an individual. So for an example, um, we have an individual that's a human, we're measuring their IQ, and a treatment could be a smart pill. That's something we give to the individual. Our next vocabulary word is response. A response is the reaction of an individual to a treatment. So, for example, the treatment is a smart pill which we give to the human and the response is they get or let's say the response is the IQ goes up. The next word is placebo. A placebo is a fake treatment. So an example might be a sugar pill which looks, feels, and tastes exactly like our smart pill but it doesn't have any of the ingredients that make a human smarter. The last vocabulary word is experimental conditions. And exper experimental conditions are the conditions under which the treatment is applied. So for example, we are giving the smart pill treatment to our individual, which is a human. The experimental conditions are that the person always takes the pill after supper, um, for example. That would be the conditions. Okay, with those vocabulary words in mind, we are going to 
switch to all the different ways we can collect data. Now you may find that you need to pause the video at certain points and feel free to do that. Oh.